just blew you here. He did. Now stand over there. Everyone has their own idea about who or what Mary Poppins is. Where does she come from? And what are these magical powers that she has? And where does she go when the winds lift her back up into the stars? Perhaps it's an impossible question to answer, but we put it to the one group of people who are most suited to at least try. Any discussion of the character of Mary Poppins is of course filled with a, um, a lot of contradictory facts. Because Pamela Travers in her own life was quite contradictory about the character. She likes to tell the truth because the only way people can really grow is by being confronted with the truth. But she doesn't do it in a way that is condemning. She does it in a way that's very gentle. And I think that helps people to see how they can change. She has a very stern exterior. She's a tough cookie, um, but she has such a heart and such love. Sometimes people say to me, oh, that Mary Poppins, she's so sweet. And I think, well, that's interesting because she's quite tart. She's quite clear, she's quite crisp, and she's quite demanding. And she doesn't settle, ever. And that's, a, that's part of the backbone of who Mary Poppins is, and it's part of why we like her. The great appeal of the show now, probably more than at any other time since it first came out, is that Mary stands for someone you can believe in. And all the things she says about life are things that, whatever your age, you can respond to now. I think Mary's best described as, as firm but fair. A lot of her characteristics are drawn from P.L. Travers, who of course originally wrote the books, and, uh, and she was a tough lady. So if Mary is sent to Cherry Tree Lane to change the lives of the Banks family, what happens to change her life during the story? Most times when you're reading a story or, re or you're doing a play or you're writing a play or a musical, your characters are going on some sort of journey. And our, our central character, Mary Poppins, doesn't actually change. She arrives like Orpheus descending, she brings about a change to the family, and she leaves when her job is done. I had this really strong sense that just before she goes, for once, Mary needs to be alone on stage and tell us something about what it's like to have to leave. So at the end, to, to their wonderful tune, their wonderful verse of Spoonful of Sugar, we wrote, with every job when it's complete, there is a sense of bittersweet, that moment when you know the task is done. Though in your heart you'd like to stay, to help things on their way, you've always known they must do it alone. And that one moment alone with her on stage, I think, just gives you that tiny little tug of thinking, oh, poor Mary, she doesn't actually like going and she does have a beating heart. So if that's who Mary Poppins is as a character, strict and stern, but also caring and kind, the question remains, what is she? I suspect no matter who you talk to, everyone has a different theory on where did Mary come from? Who is she? What is the essence of her power? How does it work? What are the limits of it? Where does she go next and where did she come from? And everyone you ask has a different version of it. I think she's like an angel. She's an embodiment of something that is outside our day-to-day -day comprehension. I think she has a higher calling, is what I like to say. You never know where she comes from. You never know, is she a ghost? Is she like this fairy tale? Is she a real person? Where does she go at night? Where does she go on her nights off? She is, you know, a guardian angel for people. So she, she has a, a, an ethereal quality to her as well. As a guardian angel, as someone who is brought into your world to help guide you on a journey or perhaps to have you see things in a different light. I think we all have had people like that in our lives, but the magical element that she brings to it as well keeps her in sort of this wonderful, angelic place. As beautiful as she is, I wouldn't necessarily define her as angelic. I sort of uh, think of her as a guide of somewhat. She's certainly magical. Um, She's certainly, I think in some ways, eternal. She's been doing this since before anyone can remember and will continue to do it. I think Mary Poppins is an average, ordinary person that possesses the alchemy to transform something into something magical. What is Mary Poppins is a very grown-up question yeah. and completely pointless. Because I think as grown-ups, we would go, well, what, what is that? What is she? And I think you would ask kids and they would go, well, she's exactly what she is. She's Mary Poppins. Somewhere over my shoulder, I could hear 
P.L. Travers tutting before I even speak because she would never answer that question because if we could pin it down to something and say she's a fairy, she's an angel, she's a good spirit, whatever, uh, if we could do that then she wouldn't be anywhere near as intriguing or enticing uh, a character as she actually is. Mm -hmm.